Hi there, I'm Councillor Glenn and this is my weekly update for Saturday, November the 18th. I'm recording this the day before though, on Friday the 17th, late in the afternoon and, and uh, does it ever get uh, dark early and uh, with, the, with the gloomy rainy day, I guess, uh, feeling a little darker than normal. Anyhow, hope you had a great week. Today I'm uh, in front of my ward office, uh, in front of Cardell Rec here with today's update. Um, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to the uh, Stittsville Legion for organizing a great Remembrance Day ceremony last Saturday. And uh, for everybody who came out, there was a huge crowd out at the Cenotaph on Saturday and lots of people lining Stittsville Main Street for the parade. So thank you to all of the volunteers from the Legion who had a hand in organizing that, a really, really nice ceremony. Uh, we had a, uh, a fire in Stittsville on Orville Street earlier this week and a family has been displaced. Uh, there is a GoFundMe set up and uh, the family is certainly in need of help. Uh, we posted some information on my Facebook page, so uh, if you can help out, uh, please do. And thank you to everyone in the community for your generosity so far with that. Also in the community, uh, there have been a number of vehicle thefts. Of course, we've had vehicle thefts uh, uh, in the suburbs of Ottawa for the past few years, but it uh, seems like there have been a lot over the past few days. I want to encourage you to check out ottawapolice.ca and uh, look for their tips on how to prevent vehicle thefts. There's some really good information there. And while you're there, you might want to check out the new crime map. They've updated the reporting and mapping tools that are available to the public. Uh, really easy to navigate and good information. So all of that is at ottawapolice.ca. Um, switching gears to some good news, uh, I want to, well, last night I was, I was here at the Order of Ottawa 2023 ceremony and uh, there are about, I think, 15 people who received a, uh, uh, who were inducted into the Order of Ottawa, including one Stittsville resident. And I want to say a big congratulations to Janet Young, who's now a member of the Order of Ottawa. Janet currently is the Curator of Physical Anthropology at the Canadian Museum of History. So congratulations, Janet. It was really nice to meet you and chat with you and very, very deserving. Um, one of the interesting projects that Janet has been involved in is some of the uh, archeological research and investigations around the Barrack Hill Cer uh, Cemetery, which is a very, very old, uh, centuries old cemetery underneath downtown Ottawa. So some uh, pretty fascinating work by Janet. Busy week at City Hall this week. On Tuesday, I chaired a seven hour transit commission meeting where we approved the transit budget for 2023. Uh, we approved or received the recommendations on the route review and we had our regular monthly update on ridership and on-time performance and so on. Uh, I don't want to get into too many details, but if, if transit is something that's of interest to you, please do check out uh, my website, uh, glengower.ca. We posted a summary of Transit Commission along with all of the staff presentation decks, a summary of what we discussed, and even an index of, uh, of the meeting on YouTube so you can go and, and watch for yourself. Um, if you remember last year, we ended up in our transit budget with a $39 million shortfall that we were counting on the provincial and federal governments to provide some funding for. That did not come through in 2023, so there's a, a different approach to budgeting in 2024. When all is said and done, uh, there's a funding gap of about $12 million, and we intend to take that out of, of emergency transit reserves. Uh, so we do have a source. It's not something we can rely on year after year after year, but given that we're in this transitionary period with transit, still recovering with uh, ridership, um, and other factors that are influencing the budget. Um, I think it's a reasonable approach this year, but um, we are continuing to advocate to the other levels of government to provide some more funding operationally for transit. Uh, other things at City Hall this week, we had, uh, let's see, oh yes, the transportation budget. So transit budget was on Tuesday, transportation budget was on Thursday. This is a massive budget covering everything to do with roads, whether it's repaving, uh, which this year will include Lazy Knoll and Cloverloft Court, uh, whether it's new road construction like Robert Grant Avenue, which has some funding this year. And uh, we look ahead a few years as well. There's funding for Carp Road in 2025, which is great news. 
Um, it covers um, uh, snow clearing. It covers um, uh, safety measures. One of those safety measures is an addition of a um, automated speed enforcement, a speed camera in front of Holy Spirit School on Stittsville Main Street. Um, it's a really good budget actually, and those speed cameras, um, they do generate revenue for the city, uh, and about $40 million or so this year. That gets reinvested right back into road safety initiatives. Uh, and that's the only place where it gets reinvested. So once we've covered the cost of the processing and so on and the installation of those cameras, any of that money goes back to road safety. So it allow allows us to move more quickly to install crosswalks, to upgrade uh, traffic signals at intersections and so on. Uh, street lights is another example. And there's a number of projects in Stittsville that have benefited from that. So that's good news. If you are interested about the city budget or you have questions about any of these things, I hope you can join us on Tuesday evening. Uh, we, uh, that's the 21st of November. We have a special online Q&A about the budget, what it means for Ottawa, what it means for Stittsville. And I'll be joined by Cyril Rogers, who's our chief financial officer, happens to be a Stittsville resident as well. So uh, we're going to have a short presentation and then answer your questions on Tuesday evening. And you can find more information about that on my website, glengower.ca. And if you live on or near Lloyd Alex, uh, I hope you'll join us on Wednesday evening. We're going to be talking about traffic safety and some proposed traffic calming measures. Now, if you live on Lloyd Alex, we would have dropped off a postcard with all the information on it. Uh, but if you're uh, looking for information, go to my website, glengower.ca. I'll wrap it up with some upcoming events. Uh, we are in Christmas Market, Christmas Bazaar season and there are really too many to mention there's there's some happening uh, I think every day every weekend for the next little bit we've listed them at uh, at my website go to glengower.ca slash events uh, the Stittsville Parade of Lights is coming up on the evening of December 2nd it's organized by the wonderful volunteers at the Stittsville Village Association and they are looking for some volunteers to help uh, help out with the parade in particular to help man the barricades along the parade route so you get a, a front row view of the parade and you can volunteer at the same time uh, student volunteers are welcome I believe you have to be 16 years or older though but uh, families can volunteer uh, so um, check out the Stittsville Village Association website you can google that and you'll find all the information there and uh, the last reminder is Saturday is Small Business Saturday so it's a great opportunity to go out and support a local business head out to Stittsville Main Street or Hazeldean Road or Carp Road or Fernbank, any of the local business areas, and uh, show your support for one of the great local businesses in our community. They, they make our community special, and uh, say thank you to the hardworking people who work there. Anyways, I hope you have a great week. Thank you for watching or listening to today's update, and I'll see you here next time. Take care.